Just a few months ago, the most highly anticipated summer arrival at Arsenal was a defender from Ligue 1. However, it wasn't Arsenal's breakthrough star Gabriel, but instead, William Saliba. The young French defender had generated a real buzz at the club. After signing him in the summer of 2019, he was immediately loaned back to St. Etienne to further his development. This summer, it was expected that this season would be Saliba's first in the red and white. However, after just a few weeks at the club, it was reported that Arsenal were looking to find a second loan deal for the young defender. In swooped St. Etienne, who were determined to secure the youngster for a second loan spell. However, after negotiations weren't completed on deadline day, Saliba ended up remaining in North London. Since then, it's been a bumpy road for the Frenchman. Despite all the summer talk of Saliba being the savior of the Arsenal defense, he has still yet to make a single appearance for the Gunners. The question is now, what next for the young French defender? And is he still involved in Arteta's plans? Before the season began, Claude Puel, the head coach at Saint Etienne, stated that Arsenal were getting a world-class player in William Saliba. In his time at the French club, Saliba had quite the impact over the last two seasons. Saint Etienne were a much better side when Saliba played. Since his debut in 2018, the club has had a 50% win ratio with him and the team. Without him, that ratio drops to 35%. Moreover, they conceded 1.1 goals per game with Saliba compared to 1.6 goals without him. He had an especially positive impact when he returned to action in September of last year. At that stage in their season, St. Etienne had won just one of their opening eight games, conceding a goal in every single game. When Saliba returned, he prompted a seven match unbeaten run, including four clean sheets. Ultimately, injury robbed the French club of his services again. Saliba wasn't back in playing until the end of January. Furthermore, he wasn't the same player after he returned from his injury. Saint Etienne continued to struggle defensively in what ended up being a relegation battle. Despite this, Saliba's development last season places him among the elite of young European defenders. When you assess the center backs in Europe, age 21 or under, Saliba again performs impressively. Only Leipzig's Dayot Upamecano has made more recoveries per 90 minutes. Furthermore, Dortmund's Dan Axel Zagadud and Schalke's Ozan Kabak are the only two center backs to have won a higher proportion of their duels. Ultimately, Arsenal fans were not wrong to be excited about the acquisition of Saliba. The French center back possesses all the tools to be one of the best defenders in Europe. Now all he needs is time and patience. It's also important to note that the transition from Ligue 1 to the Premier League is not always smooth and in some cases needs to be handled differently. Let's take a look at two Monaco midfielders who both moved to the Premier League in recent years. The first one is Timoy Bakayoko. Bakayoko moved to Chelsea in the summer of 2017 after breaking onto the scene at Monaco during their famous Champions League run. Due to a lack of depth in the central midfield position after the sale of Nemanja Matic to United and the absence of Danny Drinkwater, Bakayoko was forced straight into action. The Frenchman struggled to find his feet in the Premier League and was heavily criticized throughout the season by fans and pundits alike. By the end of the season, it was concluded that the Frenchman didn't have a place at Chelsea and he was loaned out to AC Milan. Since then, he's bounced around Europe with various loan spells and is now on loan at Napoli. Although he's somewhat revived his career out on loan, he's nowhere near the player he was once deemed to be. The second player I want to highlight is Fabinho, the Liverpool midfielder who moved from Monaco in the summer of 2018. Despite joining in July, Fabinho didn't make his first start for the club until the end of October. In fact, Fabinho was nowhere to be seen during his initial first few months at Liverpool. However, when he finally played, the Brazilian came good. Since then, he's kicked on and has been one of Liverpool's most important players throughout the last two years. He's contributed to both their Champions League and Premier League success. However, people tend to forget that at the start of his time at Liverpool, he wasn't a second thought, let alone the first name on the team sheet. So why is this all important? As you can see, the transition from Ligue 1 to the Premier League has to be handled very carefully. While Conte had no choice but to play Bakayoko straight away at Chelsea, Jurgen Klopp had the freedom to ease Fabinho into action. If we compare the career trajectories of both players, it's not even close. While Bakayoko is still considered a good player in Europe, Fabinho has reached new heights at Liverpool. 
With all this being said, it's important to extend this lesson to William Saliba. Mikel Arteta is easing the Frenchman into action. The Premier League is the fastest paced and most physically demanding league in the world. The 19 year old will need time to adapt and develop until he is ready. Like Fabinho, when the Frenchman arrives, he'll come good. Just the way Arteta intends. In addition, it's important to note that Saliba was very much affected by injury throughout the majority of last season. Like I mentioned previously, he wasn't the same player for St. Etienne after he returned from injury last January. Here's what Arteta said in an interview from a few weeks ago about that effect on Saliba's development. No, I think William is doing really well. He's uh, adapting to, to the country, he's adapting to our club. Um, we have to bear in mind that he had a, a really challenging season last year with the amount of injuries that, uh, that he had. But uh, it's a play that's going to be really important in, in our future. And uh, things sometimes take some time and we have to respect that. Notice how Arteta highlights the importance of giving the youngster time. As fans, it's crucial we remain patient with Saliba. Whether that means we'll have to wait a few months or even to next year for the youngster to play. When he does break through, I'm beyond confident that his talent will shine. The Frenchman will wear the number four jersey with pride and add to its historic legacy. Tony Adams, Martin Keown, Patrick Vieira, and soon William Saliba, who in time will be an Arsenal star. As always, thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate the love and support you guys give me. Let me know in the comments section if you believe William Saliba is a future star. Once again, thanks for all your support. The Arsenal fan base is the best in the world, and you guys prove that every single day.